like you can tell a lot about a couple by what they eat when they go out together. You know, like a new couple. Those get tapas, like just pushing an olive around the plate. <laughs> you know, if they hook up later, she's gonna get up in the middle of the night, put her makeup back on. <laughs> He's lying in bed like, what's a cool way to sleep? <laughs> What do humans do with their arms again? <laughs> then you might see like a, an older married couple. Like they don't even necessarily have to chat over the meals, just enough to be in another's company. They won't hook up later, just lie in each other's arms, bloated and happy. <laughs> I think that can go too far though. Like, like you can get too comfortable. Like I, I was at an event recently, it was a cabaret seating, and I got seated with this young couple and after intermission, I thought that somehow they had gone out and got ice cream treats. <laughs> Naturally, I was insanely jealous. <laughs> they had not gotten out and gotten food. They had, in fact, not purchased anything. They had brought to the theater with them and were now splitting a block of mozzarella cheese. <laughs> Just pushing down the plastic and gnawing on the end like it's not fucking shameful. <laughs> Have some goddamn respect. If not for yourself, then for the venue. And save that kind of behavior for when you're wearing sweatpants behind closed doors like the rest of us animals. <laughs> I would have been less uncomfortable if he had been just, just casually fingering her under the table. 